If you do a Google search for how to set up crossover frequencies for your speakers, you'll go down a rabbit hole. Everyone has an opinion on how to get the best sound from your speaker system. In this video, I sit down with THX Vice President of Global Technology, where he explains what the best frequency settings are, and I'll go over how crossovers work. You probably ended up at this video because you're seeing a lot of info out there on what's the best settings in regard to crossover frequencies for your surround sound system. But what does crossover frequency mean? The term crossover frequency talks about the range of frequencies a driver in your speakers can optimally reproduce before switching to another driver that can more adequately reproduce the sounds at the desired frequency. The switch in frequency from driver to driver is known as the crossover or roll-off. Your tweeters can reproduce the highs, your mid-range drivers the mid-range of frequencies, and your subwoofers can reproduce the lows. Today, it's not uncommon to purchase speakers that are two-way or three-way speakers for entertainment systems. They're called two-way or three-way because of the amount of drivers in each speaker. The reason speakers have multiple drivers is because each of these drivers can optimally reproduce sounds at particular frequencies. You could force a tweeter to try and play low sounds, but it would sound less than ideal. A crossover system built into speakers and receivers prevents forced sound and helps reproduce accurate and rich sound through the appropriate driver. The built-in crossover frequencies that are predetermined by manufacturers of your device will determine which frequencies will go to which drivers. One thing you've probably seen around a lot is the 80 Hz setting with many people saying it is the standard set by THX, a company known for its high standards in entertainment playback. Most speakers today have passive crossover frequency settings. These utilize capacitors, inductors, and resistors built into the speaker which tells each driver what frequency to reproduce at which sounds. When a driver can no longer reproduce a frequency, that signal is sent to the next driver that can. If you have your crossover frequencies for your surround sound speakers set at 80 Hz, this means the speakers around you will begin to reduce the amount of audio going to your mid-range speakers and sending more signal to your subwoofers once the signal drops below 80 Hz. Bass management is a key, key component to this. In cinema, you have these very, very large speakers. I mean, in fact, even, even going to the 90s, you have some that are over 10 feet tall, you know, um, that are reproducing uh, low frequencies at high volumes um, and, um, you know, at high power. Uh, so in, in home, you know, having super large speakers is, is not uh, practical. It's, it's super expensive to do such things. So the uh, the bass management is key to reproducing these all the, the full frequency response, right? You know, you have, you know, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. You know, how do you reproduce that out of some really, really small speakers? So you do frequency division and you share um, the low frequency um, of, of each of this, uh, the channels from the left, center, right, and surrounds um, to the uh, boxes that are way more efficient at reproducing that, the subwoofer. Um, so you have a subwoofer and you uh, also put the LFE, the low frequency effects channel, in the subwoofer together. And so that, that low frequency box is a thing doing all that power down at the um, and below 80 Hertz. And we found that 80 Hertz is most effective. As Steve said, 80 Hertz is the best overall setting. That doesn't mean it is the setting with which you should set all your speakers. Steve says the best crossover frequencies can be found in your instructional manual for your speakers. The optimal setting might not be 80. It could be 70 or even 90. Just as a regular consumer, I mean, this is um, something more um, you know, for practical, for, you know, for people, you buy, you know, uh, you know, an Onkyo receiver, um, and you have some, you know, speakers where some are really small and some are really big. And, you know, you have tower speakers for left and right. Um, and then you have some maybe little only multimedia or, or bookshelf speakers on, on, on the side. Um, so it, you're, the crossover would then be designed for what is best reproduced by each speaker, right? 
So you might have a really small speaker that goes down to 120 hertz. That would be a better crossover point for that. Maybe these towers go down to 40 hertz. That's a great place. For THX, we have you know small and large selections on our crossover. So we support you know large tower speakers um, as well as an 80 hertz crossover. But you know it's different depending on the speaker system. So um, today, you know, uh, AVR electronics are are way more sophisticated um, than they used to be. Um, there's some really good uh, processing in there and, uh, and really good um, uh, auto calibration alignment tools um, that, that help you um, like kind of get yourself started, you know, kind of, kind of get your, yourself in a, in, a, in a good starting place. Um, but what, you know, THX has always been, um, uh, you know, our, our position or our, our way of thinking, our philosophy is um, getting all the, the ingredients um, to work well together so you don't have to think about all of these things. You said I would go to the, the, the owner's uh, the specification, look at what the, you know, what, what can the speaker do, you know, and cross over from there if you can select that crossover. But that's, you know, definitely a more practical thing um, yeah. when you're trying to just do it, do it yourself. And I, I do it myself too. I have, I have a whole mismatch of different things, you know, that, that I put together in, in a line and I just, uh, um, uh, look at it I, and I make it, uh, make it work. Once you set your speaker system to the optimal crossover frequencies, check out this video I did with Steve on how to best demo your entertainment system. If you have a topic you want me to cover, let me know in the comment section below. This is Movie University, education and cinema.